morning my friends from Tia in Gurage in the Gurage area so we already left uh, not far from Addis but actually we already left uh, the Oromo region yeah we're in the Gurage Gurage area the Gurage people are uh, like the Amhara people they are Semitic people also like Amharic and the Gurage language are both uh, Semitic languages so Semitic means uh, languages linked in the family of Arabic and uh, Hebrew and it's the start also of the, the southern nations here in Ethiopia uh, yeah and Semitic language also that's the explanation why the, the Ethiopian the original culture of Ethiopia that came from that started 3,000 years ago originates from a, the legend says from a tribe called the Habesha who migrated from the Arabian Peninsula to to here uh, so from Yemen probably to to the Horn of Africa and they mixed with the with the local people and uh, and that's why they, they and that's how the Ethiopian people somehow were created it's a mix between Arabs and Africans but I'll see maybe I'll get some salam salam they, they have a breakfast yes I can it's okay okay so let's have breakfast first, then we'll go to visit the, the site. Salam. Uh, oh, okay. What is this? Mindanao? Biscuit. Biscuit. Oh, okay. Biscuit. Okay. Sintanao? Asir bir. Asir bir. Can I get uh, on the biscuit? I can sit here? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll get on and uh, on the buna. Also. Buna? Yes. So let's start with the biscuit. And the and the coffee. Oh, I can take it. Oh, okay. 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 Ah, I'm missing another. So I get a biscuit to start the day. It's okay. It's a fried dough, basically. Where is Walid? Hmm? Walid, yet no. What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> Kid, here. Uh, baby? Yeah, no, not baby, uh -huh. but... Like... Uh, yeah, samosa, yeah, yeah. Ah, after, Bahala. Ah, Bahala. Bahala. Mm -hmm. The day is out, the day is out. Ah, uh, Asra and Saat. Asra and Saat. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm thinking that. Because yesterday was a lovely kid on this shop. Yesterday evening, but uh, he's not here. He was really, really nice. He was the one who told me, oh, well, we are Gurage here. We are not, uh, not Oromo. I thought I was still in Oromia region. <laughs> oh, when you. <laughs> Salano, yes. Yeah. You okay? I had one already. I wait for my coffee now. Okay, no. But after I'll take another one, I think. But it's very good, yeah. It's our best breakfast. It's your best breakfast. Yeah. Okay. Good. Basukar, yeah, yeah, basukar. Sugar. Oh, good. With the sugar or you know sad? Huh? We drink with uh, salt. You think we drink with salt? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. In the uh, rural areas, they are with, they use this well, when with, with salt. I, I tried it once, I remember, like uh, 10 years ago in, in La Libela. How uh, is that taste? Uh, it's very weird for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not like it. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, but... I'm a second uh, It's a town. Yes. Ah, okay. In the town, we use sugar only. In the town, it's sugar only. Yeah. So, so why do you use salt in the villages? Actually, the it, it, it's when you don't have the sugar? sugar. It's the absence of sugar. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I use with sugar. You use with sugar also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. But before, do you use with salt also? 
Do no, you? No, I, I hate that. Ah, you hate that? Okay, okay. Of course. Okay. But uh, now I, I use only sugar. Only sugar, okay. For, for me it's the same, I can only drink with, with sugar. I, I, but salt is, uh, yeah, it's, I don't know, I tried it once, it's, it's weird, yeah, I yeah, find it. Uh, the taste is, is, is weird. Whew. Good morning, Ethiopian coffee. So you also drink this, no? Uh, no. no? <laughs> I, I take another one. Eh? Biscuit. Is she? Okay. <laughs> Let's have a second biscuit with the with the coffee. Oh, oh the coffee is so good. Oh, sorry. Is she baker? Is she? I'm a second. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm a second hello. Okay, have a very nice meeting you. Man. Thank you. And here Tia is actually kind of the border town. It's 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 just the first uh, Gorage town and the people here are mixed between uh, between Oromo and uh, and Gorage people. So we are just entering what they call the Gorage zone. And he told me many things important things also. They do they are famous for kitfo, which is a minced raw meat, which looks a lot like a tartar, tartar uh, beef in, in France. So in the next big city, we're going to have to try that. Because there is actually a very good news also. Yesterday I tried uh, injera because I had no choice. It was, or I eat injera or I don't eat anything. So I had some and it did not make me sick. This time my, uh, my stomach accepted it. So I can eat injera again, that's great. And that, and apparently the Gurage people, they also do cheese. So after the ride of today, we're gonna have to try raw meat and cheese. Okay, let's go to visit the site now here in Tia. <laughs> There's a guy screaming behind me. I thought it was for me, but no, it's for the <laughs> it's for the kids who follow me. <laughs> so we're gonna visit some megalithic stella stones that were found here and actually they are found all, all, all over uh, in many places in southern Ethiopia. I'm very happy to be in southern Ethiopia. It's my first time to really visit this part of, of Ethiopia, which is a fascinating part, also very different from the north. The north is of course is a very antique civilization. Here it's more, much more tribal, but uh, yeah, very, really looking forward to, to discover that. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. And then? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. He's a brother, nice. Brother, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Good, good, good. Have a good day. This is for Estela, no? Yes. Okay, good. So, where is the ticket? Yes. Okay. So, we need to find the guy for the ticket first. Marta! There? There? Ticket? I go there? So I need to go to pay for the ticket. And you see it's very funny. The You see I am out of Addis and suddenly I find again. There, this this woman. Okay. Uh, I find again the all the lovely Ethiopian people. And uh, it's not that much of a problem to film anymore. I don't know what's wrong with Addis. It's it's really weird. I mean, it, I think the civil war completely, well, kind of spoiled it somehow. This group not yet excavated, you know. This group no excavated. Okay, so, so nine. So they are nine hundred years old. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Among A and B group, discovering fifty-two skeletons. Fifty-two skeletons. Okay. Yeah. So how to bury the fifty-one skeletons vertically or fetal position buried? This way, like this one buried. Oh, they, they were buried like this? Yeah, like this one buried, he said. Oh, okay, wow. So, he said animist, you know. So oh, they were animists, okay, yeah, animist, okay. no Christian. No Christian, okay. Yeah, so only one skeleton or somebody's horizontally or lying down a buried. Okay. He said the religious or Christians. Okay. Like this one buried one Christian. So the the Christian was buried horizontally yeah. and the others were buried like uh, vertically? Yes. Okay. Animist. And do you know which people it was? Uh, he said... Uh, 
I don't know say they no. They don't know really, no. Yeah, no. Which one? Which uh, citizen? Romo or Burage, Amara? No. We don't know. Okay, no, yeah, yeah. No defined okay. here. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, front side of the different symbol. One, two, three, four, five, six symbols. Then uh, you know swords. Mm -hmm. See swords. Swords there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sword. So the number of swords represent how many kill enemies represent. Ah, okay. So warriors, you know, warriors or important people uh, buried here. Okay. So uh, he he killed six. Six enemies. people. So he has a big stella. Yeah. And he has six words. Yeah. He okay. killed six enemies. Okay. Enemy, you know. So this one male breast or chest. Ah. Oh. Yeah, male breast or chest represent. So this one ribs. You know ribs. Ribs, yeah, okay. Here, ribs, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. <coughs> ribs represent this one. Uh, two meanings. He, according to explanation of archaeologists, he said false bananas. Okay. False bananas. False bananas. Yeah, doesn't have fruits. Ah, okay. Yeah, steam and root parts to prepared by sword three months or four months deposit in the holes after three months fermentation. Okay. Again, take out chopping by sword. It will give ocho or you know insects. Ah, okay. Yeah, they will give it to just uh, like make breads to eat with raw meat, with the kit force in the restaurant also. It's good taste. Okay. Uh, carbohydrate. So, okay. Also, I'm... So, what's, what's the name of this? False bananas. False bananas. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm eating now. Also, this one. Result of false banana trees, you know. Ah, okay. In root parts to prepare more. Okay. This one also symbolic of women. Oh, yeah. Uh, head part like this one already broken. Okay. Top part broken. So the head is broken, yeah. Yeah. That's the breast? Breast, breast yeah. Necklace here. Okay. So this one, woman. Two women. It's only two women? Yeah, uh, two women, yeah. He, this one and the, and the one there? Yeah. Okay. This one uh, symbolic of uh, penis. Ah, okay. Symbolic of penis or phallic one. So uh, vertically buried one. Like this one buried one, animist, is, I say. Mm -hmm. So animist one not circumcision. Ah oh, yeah okay. Yeah. Uncircumcised because after Christianity starting all of male circumcision. Oh so the circumcision started with Christianity. Yeah. Ah okay. Yeah that represents so fifty one people is not circumcised. Okay. So, except horizontally one. Okay. Horizontally oh, that's... this one yeah. Okay. Cross this one a little broken here. Okay, yeah. Ah, so that's a cross. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crosses, okay, yeah. so that's a cross. Okay. Yeah. So that's a Christian tomb then. Yeah. Okay. Christian tomb. So this one. So it means the site was used at first by animists, and then these people became Christian in the process somehow. Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh. Gradually received Christianity. Okay. Yeah, that represent. Uh, when buried the Christianity west to east, head part like this one. Ah, okay. No, like this one. Okay. Uh, like this one buried because um, according to Bible when coming Jesus from East mm. but this case when coming Jesus all died people rise up contact with Jesus ah okay but this case uh, west, for, for the judgment day yeah, yeah okay west to East buried okay like when uh, Christian people so when sleeping they keep direction you know yeah when sleeping in the bed or in the house just west to East like oh, in the house as well? Oh, yeah, oh okay. So oh, I didn't know that, okay. Uh, when they come, Jesus contact with him. Okay. Four swords, down and up. Yeah. Why down and up, no interpret. Or not oh, we don't know why. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. But four swords. Yeah. So here. Thank you very much for the for showing me. Thank can you. I stay a little bit? Yeah. To, to, to you can. Okay. okay. I'm going to take it. Thank you. <laughs> so that's the visit of that was the official visit of the, this uh, fascinating site. Look at that. A field of 1,000 years old animist tombs. Look at the beauty of that. Field of wires full of swords for the 
for the killings representing the killings. How many people, how many enemies these people, these warriors killed during their life. And the people are so lovely here, I just love it. No, I, I just met the guy who, who got me inside uh, this morning and he was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so basically I took a guide also because, uh, well, that's the way it is in Ethiopia. You always have to, to take a guide, even to see stones. When you buy a ticket, the guide comes, from, comes with the ticket, to, with the entrance ticket, basically. Uh, so that's it for Tia. And now let's dive deeper into the Gurage zone, as they call it. And I'm gonna cycle again, but as you see, I'm, I'm, I'm burned from yesterday because I was stupid. I did not put cream properly, so I, I, I need to be covered to cover myself to protect myself from the sun. Ta to protect myself from the sun uh, today for the ride of today. Hi. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's funny here, people say I love you all the time. <laughs> okay, let's go get the bike ready and let's let's head to deeper inside the Gurage zone. Ready to go to Butijara. Butijira. Butajira. Butajira. The second biggest city in the Gurage zone. Ready to go to have some raw meat. I think I'm good. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Bye bye! Let's take another. So, today it's just uh, 48 kilometers, mostly descent. So, it should, be a, it should be an easy day. There is still 300 meters elevation gain. Even though I'm going down, I mean, there is always up and downs here in Ethiopia. Oh, you see here they have uh, three donkey cars. I'm so happy today. Yes, <laughs> money, money. I don't care. I'm so happy today. Oh, I'm happy to be back on the road. It's so cool. Salam, salam, salam. Look at the beautiful landscape behind me. Wow, ah, Ethiopia is awesome. I've got a new friend. Huh? Got in here. Selfie? Yeah, yeah. Got in here. What's the name here? Bui? Bui. Bui? Ah. Yeah. So we are in Bui. This is a Gorage, no? Yeah, okay. Gorage. Gorage people are very friendly. Yeah. Huh? Franzai. Franzai. Yeah. Christian. Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Mbappe. Lopape. 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 Mbappe is the best. Yeah. Parenji. Parenji. They're not in. Even the adults run after me here. Butajira, Butajira. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yet no. I am here. I'm racing against the horse cart. Now. <laughs> oh, there is some bad road coming. There is bad road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he accelerated so much, he doesn't want me to, to overtake him. <laughs> okay, let's overtake him now. Yeah. 
Gobas. Gobas, gobas. Yes. This time I'm winning. Oh my god. But there is bad road again. And he's catching up with me. But he's stronger than me. Good. <laughs> okay, there is some bus coming in front. Salamnish. Baika, baika, okay. There's she. I don't know. Go fast, go fast, yeah. Salamnish. Oh my god, this day across the Gurage zone, across the Gurage countryside is awesome. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Bye bye. Pumpkin area. And I arrive and we arrive in Butajira guys uh, the second biggest city of the Gurage zone Yo Yo So the hotel is here Where is the entrance? Salamna Hotel Salam, can you bike? Yeah, that's a good Salam, you have room? Something new? Arat Kansa? Arat? Arat Meto Hamza. Arat Meto Hamza. 500. 500. Oh, uh, uh. Amos Meto. Hot water? Uha? Ale? Hot! So that's my beautiful room. Okay. For 500, 10 dollars, depending on the rates. Look at that. It's quite clean. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stay three nights here, I think, because I, I need to work. And also, I need to let my body recover a bit from all the burning I had the other day, uh, yesterday. Because I did not put my, I did put sunscreen, but not with due diligence. So not all around the arm and the parts where that were not covered with a sunscreen, like burnt like crazy. Look at this amazing view over Butajira. Look how red is my arm. And this side is completely fine, but this side, oh my god! I'm very happy. I am super happy. But let's not lose my Gurage Mojo and let's go immediately look for the Kitfo and Ayup Begomen which is the Ayup is the Gurage cheese Gomen is cabbage so it's cheese with cabbage it's a typical thing from the, the people here and here is the street of Butajira let's go Salam, do, do you know where uh, I can find Ayab Begomen? Yet no. 
don't know. In here, no. To, yeah, okay. No, okay, honestly. Uh, in here, you think they have? Yeah, food, yeah, 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 but I have the government. Yellen, no? Okay, I'll go walk around. Maybe there or there? More this way. Let's run this way. Yeah, the thing is that, of course, there is a restaurant in the hotel, which is very good. But uh, I want to walk a little bit while looking for the, for the food. So, Salam. so we can see a little bit the street. Let's see the reception of the camera in the street. So, will we find? Oh, well, there is a restaurant, oh, but that's, that's for meat. So maybe I could come here. Um, let's see, let's ask them maybe. Maybe they know. Salam. Salam. Do you know, uh, Ayub Begomen? Ayub Begomen. Many, many no. No, but Ayub Begomen. Yet no. Yeah, Ayub Begomen. No, but this is a. One, kitfo, one. The, kitfo. First, the first one. First one. Yes. The kitfo is good here? Kitfo, Kitfo. Kitfo. But the first uh, one, Kitfo. The first one, Kitfo. Yes. But Aya Begomen, Ale? Ah, Aya Begomen. Oh, there? Ah. In which one? So, this hotel? Hotel, hotel. Jambar. Aya Begomen, hotel? Jambar, hotel. Hotel. Ah, she. The first one, hotel. And this is for Kitfo, good? Yes. Is she? I'm a second, Ale. So I go first, Aya Begomen and Bahala Kitfo. I'm a second, Ale. Ayub Begomen, Ale? Ayub Begomen. Ayub Begomen? Yeah. Ale? Ah, Ale? Yeah? Ale? Oh, actually, can I can sit there? Actually. Ah, there's Sent Sentinel? Sentinel? Peru? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. I, I got there now, actually. One second, Ale. So there is Ayub Bagoman. <laughs> let's see. I'm just gonna go to sit and let's see what comes. My first. Uh, look at this beautiful uh, garden. It's very funny because the street is very chaotic just behind. But uh, you have a noises of peace here. Okay, let's just sit here and wait for my uh, first African cheese. I think it's gonna be the first African cheese in my life, I think. I wait, I wait. I'm just gonna give a tip to the guys who gave me the right direction. You can share. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, can I have Ambo? Yeah. Wow, look at that, guys. Oh my god. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm so happy. I was just thinking, you can't, you can't imagine how happy I am. I just, I, to, to just do what I love in my life is just so amazing. To do that. Traveling is my job. I just can't believe it. It's just it's unbelievable. I am so happy that I, I, I managed to make that To do what what I like the most is became my job. It's just so amazing. Well, I just wanted to say that I'm happy Let's see is this hot? Wow. So uh, I made all this effort to try to be okay. Look at this beautiful scene of so of course some injera so I was thinking, I'm just gonna eat that today, and the the kit for the raw meat, I'm gonna do it in the no, in, in the next video because I don't wanna eat. Uh, I'm not gonna eat twice for lunch. But look at that! Oh my God! This is a kind of jelly. It's very flexible. It's roasted. Well, I have no idea what it is. But it's really good. Really, really good. And let's try a little bit with the spoon. The, the green stuff. Mm. Oh. oh my god, it's super spicy. 
but it's really good. And I think the white thing, that's the, um, that's the cheese. Oh, it's tough, it's harder. Oh my god, it's really good actually. Very, very good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> wow, it's, it's fresh. It's funny because this is, this is extremely spicy. And, and the mix between both. Oh, so good. This, no, no, no. Cocho. Cocho. Okay. Yes. Cocho. Eh? No, good, good, yeah. Are you now, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, so this is co Cocho, which I don't know what it means. I guess. Let's try to eat it like that. Mm. But this stuff is awesome. Oh. Oh. So good. This is the first time I have that. Really good. Really, really good. Let's have a bit of the injera. Mm. Oh. Really good. So before I was getting sick, I don't know why, every time I would eat injera, I would get stomach pain and diarrhea just one hour after, immediately, every time. So that's why I could not eat it anymore. But I'm happy now that I stopped for two months. I'm happy that now I can eat it again. So good. And the cheese is actually really good. But the best is that for me. That's awesome. Mm. It's the texture. The texture is just, you see? A little bit like jelly. Really good. Okay, so I guess that's the end of the video, of my uh, video of cycling across the Gurage, Gurage zone. See you for the next adventures, guys. Ciao.